In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a 2D project tile that follows its target without using any physics. Stay tuned for that. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Unity. If you are a Unity developer and you're interested in AR or augmented reality, then you might want to check out Unity Mars. Unity Mars is a new specialized authoring environment that includes great tools and UI that gives augmented reality developers the power to prototype, test, and deliver intelligent AR experiences. Check out the link in the description below to learn more about Unity Mars. In this scene, we have the following game objects. We have this tower, which is where the projectile is coming from, the projectile itself, which is where we're going to apply our script, and we have this guy as our enemy, which is what the projectile is going to target. If you know the game Plants vs Zombies, you surely get the idea that the plants just literally shoot vegetables to the zombies. So basically, that's what we're going to create in this tutorial. Our tower will launch an arrow and the arrow will follow the enemy even if it's moving. So let's do that. Create a new C -sharp script and name it Project Tile. Once the code is created, open the file with Visual Studio. All right, so we're here now in Visual Studio. So first of all, let's create the first two variables, tower and target. We'll be using these two variables as a reference to where is the project tiles coming from and where is the project tiles going to. So right over here inside our start function, let's apply the two variables and assign them the game objects using the find game object with tag. And then later on, we're going to set up our tower and the enemy and give them the, the tag that they need. All right, so next, let's declare another variable and name it speed and give it a value of 10 float. Next, let's create two private float variables for the tower's x position and target's x position. So we'll just call it tower x and target x. Then right over here in the update function, we'll just give this to a value from the towers and targets transform that position that x. And then next, let's create another private variable which we'll use to get the difference between target x and tower x. And then we'll create another private variable to give our project tile the next x position value using move towards function. For the argument, we'll just pass the current x position of the projectile and the value of target x variable to tell where our projectile should move towards. Then we'll just give the max delta parameter a value of the speed variable multiplied with time that delta time. All right, next, let's create the last two variables for the height of our projectile. And just at the bottom of our update function, we'll just use linear interpolation or lerp to give our projectile this arc effect like a real arrow. The first argument is the position of the tower or where the position is coming from. And the second argument is the target's position or where the projectile is heading to. And for the last argument, which is the T parameter, we have to make sure that the value passed into this argument is between 0 and 1. So right over here, we just subtracted the values of next x variable and tower x variable. And then we divided by the value of our distance variable. And then the height variable from its name itself is to give the projectile the height or how high the projectile can go. All right, let's use our move position variable and give it a new vector three and pass all the values we have created above like so. For the x axis, we have next x variable. For the y, we have the base y plus the value of height. And for the z axis, we, we actually don't need to change it at all since, since the game is 2D. So basically what all of this is doing is for the x, we use move towards function to make the projectile move through x axis. Then for the y, we use lerp to make a realistic arc effect. So the arrow goes up, then as soon as it hits the peaking point, it will slowly rotate and falls down to the target. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is to create a function for our projectile. So it will face our target as soon as it starts going down. So right over here below our update function, type public, static, and we'll use quaternion since we're returning a value for our rotation of the projectile. Let's just call it look at target. Then for the parameter, let's create a vector2 and name it rotation. All right, inside this function, we'll just use return and use quaternion Euler function. And for the first two arguments, we'll just give it a value of zero since we don't really want to make our projectile rotate like this. So what we need to do is just rotate our projectile in the z-axis. So 
we're going to use arctangent2 function and give it, a, give it the value of x and y from the rotation variable, then the result will just multiply it by region to degrees. Awesome, now let's use this function here in our update. Let's use transform.rotation and use look at target function and pass it a value of our move position minus transform.position. And then next for our transform that position, all we need to do is to apply the value or just to pass the value of move position variable. And yeah, that's all. Just close it with semicolon. All right, this is actually going to work now, but let's create a condition and check if the position of the projectile is equal to the position of the target. If it's equal, then we'll just destroy the projectile. This is also where you can apply damages to the target, but we're not going to do that here. But if in case you want to do that, you can just type here like, for example, a function like reduce health or something like that. But yeah, this is where you, you can do that. All right, so anyway, let's just save the script and go back to Unity. Once the script is processed, let's apply the script to our projectile like so. And then lastly, we need to give our game objects the tags that they need. So for the tower, let's give it a tag of tower. And for the enemy, let's give it a tag of enemy. Just make sure that the, the first letter is uppercase. If we run the game, we should have the projectile moving like so. And there you have it. We have finally created a script that makes the projectiles follow its targets. And not only that, it creates an arc effect. So it will look like a realistic arrow or a projectile. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss any of our future uploads. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.